welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver with another episode of Glacier Tournament Jurassic Park Builder going in with the Silver League Megalania. Woo! Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Who are we against? Oh, that guy again? I've just fought him in the aquatic. The guy was sticking his middle finger up. God, he's flipping the bird. I'll show you a bird. A terror bird. Oh, kiwi bird. Show you kiwi bird. I'll also show you Clive, the dodo. You can't take that on. If I fight him, I'll show him birds. Birds of fury. Actually, I probably should have saved my birds for him. <laughs> oh, kiwi bird wants world domination, definitely. Whoa, it's not even out and it made the noise. Oh, Megalania, you're in for a tough time here, buddy. You would never have faced this Elasma Theorem as you were stranded on Australia. And I don't think Elasma Theorem was around in Australia. It was definitely on the, um, in North America, because at that point in time, America was joined with Asia through Alaska. There was, um, land there, also known as the Mammoth Steppe. Charge it, Kiwi Bird! I'm glad they only brought two, because they brought two of the best. I have brought Megalania and Kiwi Bird, which aren't the best, but Dodo is alright. Dodo's got decent health, decent attack, it's an alright. It, it can be whatever you want it to be, it's well-rounded. It could be a meat shield, or it could be a sweeper. Oh god. Ah, Kiwi Bird hangs in there! Come on, go for the charge. I like how it does little tappy toes before it actually claws at it. Goes, <laughs> and then attacks. Oh, bite. Yep, there it goes. Alright, Dodo. Peck it, Clive. Oh no, it goes for the block. Oh no. I'm gonna go. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go for my force field shield. Oh, what do you have to say to that, Rhino? That's right, nothing. You ain't got nothing to say about my fluffy dodo butt. Right, the protodon, go for your special, I dare you. Ah, you didn't go for it. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna go for your weakness, though. Ooh, I'm gonna need four of those. Possibly five. I'm gonna block. Oh, no, I'm glad I didn't block. I was just about to click it, and then he went for his turn. Again, that's that's something that doesn't make sense. The fact is, you can click as quickly as possible, and they won't get a chance to block. So, but they always have about two seconds before they attack. Oh no, charge, no! Oh, they did block, awesome. Like what, and then he'll go now. See, there's always that sort of similar pattern, but since they don't have a shield now, and one hit's not gonna kill him. I'm gonna, instead of wasting 20 claws going for my final block and going for two attacks, I'm gonna go for my special and finish the bugger off. Clive Army attack! Yes! Beautiful! <laughs> you look so happy. So happy to kill the world. Oh, the flip the bird person got taken out by Alex. That's awesome. Right, uh, who to have? Who to have? Who to have? Who to have? Macaroni, Starbucks, and sausage. It's the breakfast club. I love that. They make a lovely sandwich. That was awesome. Like, episode 40, I think it was? Macaroni saved the day. That day I was losing, like time and time after time. Every time I was losing, and then I got to the very end, and it was so close, and Macaroni absolutely saved me so much. And after that, I, I went downstairs and I ate some macaroni. 
And loads of people were, did exactly the same thing after watching the video. They were like, that's it, I'm eating macaroni. Because <laughs> it was epic. Charge. Charge should kill it, right? Charge is its weakness. It's not going to kill it because it goes for the force field shield. This person, who I can barely read the name of because it is in black text on a black background. Nice, nice choice, Lydia. Alejandro. Looks too happy. Don't you love those people that um, on Facebook, they just have the couple picture? Well, actually, that's not bad when they have a couple picture together as the profile picture. But it's when every other picture after that is the couple. It's just them, like, kissing and hugging. It's like, oh, come on. Jesus. I'll tell you a story, actually. Um, me and Whitney, we were in uh, Frankie and Benny's. If you know, it's an Italian restaurant. Um, to an a, a, a Italian chain restaurant. Um, yeah, they sell lots of chains. Um, <laughs> basically, there was these this couple in it, and they were sat together, and they weren't talking or looking at each other. They were just like sat on the same side of the table together, in complete silence, and it was really freaky. Um, but when they got up, got up to leave, they left the restaurant went outside it, so they were in front of the window, where we all were, and then they made out, like, in front of the window, and I was just like, oh god, come on. Like, you were together in here, and there was absolutely no chemistry, and out here, it's like, oh yeah, oh, and there was somebody else who was, um, sitting in with us, who was like, oh, how are you, man? And just, like, telling them to go away, like, come on, like, because... That's funny. Usually the people who are all up in your face about being in love in a happy relationship are the people that aren't actually happy in a relationship. And it's like they need to, by proving to other people, like, oh, look, we're so happy. Look at us. Um, they're the ones that are most, like, not uncomfortable. There's a certain word. Um, Oh, what is the word? Not uncomfortable. Insecure. Yeah, insecure about their relationship with each other. So, really, if, you, if you've if got a friend or whatever who's po who posts loads of pictures of them together, just, like, don't get angry. Just be like, God. To think that they have to, they feel like they have to put it out there for other people. Like, if you, like, love is a very intimate thing between, you know, two people. So, there's no real need to put it out there on the internet for everybody to see. I was like, oh, look at us. We're so in love. Because I always thought that there's something not right about that. The people are always like, oh, you know, writing on each other's statuses on Facebook. Like, God, I miss you. Oh, I love that. Can't wait for you tomorrow. Um, not that I'm, ag I'm not against Facebook at all. I'm not Luddite like that. Um, not Luddite, but... I don't know, it's just something about it. I'm like, really, you have to. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's a social, it's a sociable uh, website, but really, I don't need to know. Nobody needs to know, just you two. Right, uh, charge, right? Charge is not going to kill it, is it? Oh, a tiniest bit of health. Come on, you gonk. No, what is it? Is it gonk? That's right, gonk. Gonks are like trolls. That's right, yeah. Gonks are trolls. Like, because me and Whitney went to an 80s, um, party. We went to an 80s party, and she dressed up as a troll. And that's what I know them as. I know them as trolls. But everybody was like, oh, you're a gonk. That's what they were. They were called gonks. But obviously, they must have got some sort of rebrand as trolls. So that's quite, um, quite interesting. Aw, oh, it looks so cute when it looks at you. All the other times, it looks absolutely repulsive. Horrible, thick, sausage, wide-nosed. <laughs> and I am one to talk. Right, okay. Um, my favorites. I'm going to do Gatorade, Titana Boa. Titana Boa. And... Cocoa Pop. Oh, against possibly, well, originally the three strongest. And then, um, the Protodon came across, and so did the, the Beaver. So, they're not the strongest anymore. Uh, Indocathium definitely is, but the other ones aren't. Actually, Little Brute. I think Little Brute has the same stats as the Beaver. I'm not too sure. 
Right, bite it, Gatorade! This thing has the most attack of all Glacier creatures. It was originally Titan Titanoboa, but now it's Gatorade. It can take two hits and still be okay. I mean, look at that damage. Look at the difference there. The strongest thing in the game against probably the, like, eighth strongest. But because of its attack, it doesn't matter how much health Endocathurium has. It's got... Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, well, I'm going to taunt you. Ouch. That had to hurt. You ready, baby? Oh, yeah. A right, little brute comes in a little bit weaker. Oh, I don't think I can take two specials. I could take a special and a normal. But not two. Yeah, two I'd be out. So hopefully they will go for a normal attack. Otherwise, they've actually saved on turns. So I'm going to go for a charge. Because I'm worried. They have three blocks right now. They could very easily go for a block. Ah, oh, yeah. See, if they went for a special, I'd be dead now and onto Coco Puff. But Titanbow is still in, so it gets another go. So either it'll do damage or waste a block. And that's what you have to be careful about with this game. You have to know when you can save a go by using those specials or when it's a waste of claws to go for them when uh, normal attacks would suffice. So here, a normal attack won't kill it. So I'm going to go for a block just in case it goes for a special. Um, it doesn't, but it did go for my weakness, so I'm glad I did block that. I am going to go for my whiskey special here because a normal won't kill it. But if a special lands, I've saved a turn. Ah, just like that, I saved a turn. So now we're sort of even Steven here. All right, okay. Now, looking at that damage... Um, Three normal hits isn't going to kill me, but a special and a normal hit will, so I need to be careful about when I block. So we're evenly matched here. It's going to be close. I'm going to go for a block now. Please special. Ah, oh, he didn't go for a special. No. No. Now, oh, a normal and a special is probably enough. So I'm going to go for the Risky Special here, when he still has blocks. I would usually say only use your specials when they have wasted their blocks. But in the, in Silver League, it's okay. Because the chances are they won't use them. In Platinum League or All-Star, they probably will use them. So that's when you have to be careful. And that's why I want to get the All-Star League. Because I want to show you guys the difference between them. So we're going to go for a normal char charge because we can afford it. Ah, oh, we win! Coco Puff! Just keep hopping, just keep hopping, go with the Coco Puff. Hop. Oh yeah, they also changed Coco Puff's ending for some odd reason. It is an extra little bit of a dance. And there you have it! All wrapped up. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and thank you again for all the support you guys have left me and given me over the past year and a bit. And hopefully we'll co I'll continue to keep bringing you beautiful content that you, you guys enjoy and look forward to. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.